Hi, TAMS. It's week five of Distant Learning. I'm Katie, your ASP president, and our focus this week for advocacy is how we stay in touch with family and friends while sheltering in place. We are using a lot of technology lately, not only for school purposes, but also for social purposes. Today, we have all the eighth grade ASP officers here, and I will let them introduce themselves before we get to our special guests. Hi, I'm Nick, and I'm your ASP vice president. I'm Riley, and I'm your dance and rally commissioner. Hi. I'm Jasmine, and I'm your publicity commissioner. I'm Cassie, and I'm your ASB secretary. Avery, and I'm your spirit commissioner. I'm Jenna, and I'm your ASB treasurer. Hi, I'm James, and I'm your sports athletic commissioner. I would now like to introduce you to some of our special guests that are here with us today. Mr. Caston, one of our CAMS counselors. Kim Carr from Hashtag I Can Help, a nonprofit that supports students. Thank you, Thank you for being with us today and giving us some tips, Kim. Can you tell us about yourself? Yeah, I'm the co-founder of Hashtag It Can Help, and uh, we educate and empower students and adults how to be positive online. Hi, Kim. Um, how did Hashtag I Can Help start? Yeah, someone created a fake Facebook page and one of the teachers at our school, and it went on for a couple weeks. No one said anything. They thought it was funny, right? And there were some kids who thought it was rude, but they didn't know how to speak up or what to do. And so it finally took one student to come to me to tell me what was going on. And we were able to take the page down. We had the conversation afterwards. We educated them and empowered them of what to do when they see the awkwardness, they see something negative, see something bad. And then the next year, someone made a fake Instagram page and the exact same teacher, but this time it was taken down in 45 minutes because it took 30 students to go on there and comment and basically say like, hey, this isn't all right. This isn't not, not all right with us. They texted their friends, were able to get the page taken down in 45 minutes. We will start today by asking you, Kim, how can we stay in touch with those friends who are not near us? And Mr. Kasson, please feel free to chime in from your Kent counselor perspective. Yeah, totally. I mean, technology is so cool. Like, you can totally stay connected. Like, how many guys are on group chats? Who's in a group chat right now? Right? Like, so fun. Even on Snapchat, whatever it is, like, stay connected. That That's what it's for. Uh, how many guys have done a FaceTime with a friend before? <laughs> yeah, like there's so many neat ways and I really think it's important to stay connected. You should have someone that you are connecting with on a regular basis. I have a couple friends that because I do live alone, I have a couple friends that I have, like they check in on me every single day to make sure that I'm all right. I think that's so important, uh, especially since it is Mental Health Awareness Month, that we have those people to connect with. Another fun new app is House Party. If you don't know what House Party is, you need to get on it. It's super cool. It just notifies you when your friends are in the house and then you can go join them in the house and be on a FaceTime kind of a hangout session. And I totally agree with Kim, what Kim just said. Um, it's very important that we do stay connected. Um, right now I'm in the house with my family. Sometimes it's nice to talk to people outside my family to get a different perspective. But um, stay in contact with your friends. Thank you for those helpful tips. What are some positive things we can do to stay safe online? Uh, yeah, how do you stay safe online? Definitely by making sure your locations, right? Uh, are, what locations are on for Snapchat specifically. Um, my locations are on, but I only allow four people to follow them. Uh, three of them are my nieces and one of them is my best friend, right? Like, I don't want everyone to, I don't want all my people to see where I'm at, but I think it's nice to have some of my friends to see where I'm at. And it is also going through who I follow and is it people that I actually know and is it people I actually approve of? Because anything that you follow, you subscribe to, you're putting your name on there. You're saying my name is and I approve of this message. My name is, this is who I want to follow. And it's not very safe to follow people who are negative and are toxic and, and that kind of thing. So it, this is your chance. You've got nothing but time right now. Go through your followers. Go look who you you know are following um, block, and, and make sure you guys unfollow the ones that you aren't, right? Like I'm having to take down a lot of negative sites right now because people do have time. Are you following those negative pages? Uh, it's you're supporting it. You're giving, you're putting your name on there saying you support it. Uh, another way we try to get people to be safe is for the parents to get on board. We need the parents to be walking alongside their child. Uh, how many parents, how many parents, how many kids? Let me ask you guys, uh, how many of your parents want to know who you hang out with in real life? Right? <laughs> yeah, so same thing, it's 
I want to get the parents in the same board with you. If you're using TikTok, your parents should be walking side by side with you. They should be knowing who you're hanging out with on TikTok, right? They should be knowing who you're hanging out with on Snapchat and just kind of being aware of it because do you even know how to report on TikTok? Do you know how to report on Snapchat? And that your parents should be walking with you. So we do have a parent, a course where we teach them how to walk alongside with you and help you not to, you know, kick you off. It's just more to walk side by side with you to make sure you're using it and being safe. Mm -hmm. The parent course right now is free on our website. So check it out. Um, I have a question for Kim and Mr. Kasten. Why is it important that we don't isolate ourselves during this time? We are, in, the, in, in nature, we're just people who want social interaction. We need to talk to people. We need to interact. We need to share our feelings. This is what things we need. And if we withdraw ourselves, it, it kind of creates a negative negative feeling, negative vibe. So it's very important that we stay connected with our friends, with our family, with whoever we feel trust and can gravitate towards. Yeah, we firmly believe that the, the emotional first aid kit that we created, right? When you know when you're bleeding, you cut yourself, right? You put a bandaid on, but what do you do when you're feeling lonely, sad, depressed? You need to go to your first aid kit. So the big thing in your first aid kit is people. You need to have humans in your life. And it is proven there's research that shows that every human needs to have so many hugs a day and have some kind of a physical touch. And so because I do live alone, one of my really good friends actually sent me a, a weighted blanket, right? And actually I have, have it on my lap right now because <laughs> uh, <laughs> it makes me feel like I'm getting hugged while I'm working. And it just makes me like, it gives me so much more comfort. Uh, it's just those simple things that we need to realize it's not healthy for us to isolate. It is way healthier for us to be around people um, at some point and, and yes, have some physical connection with people. Mr. Kasten, I heard it's Mental Health Awareness Month. What exactly does that mean? Well, at CAMS, during Mental Health Awareness Week, we're trying to create dialogue. We want to create conversations. And most importantly, we want to inform students parents, staff, um, all about mental mental health. It's uh, important to know that it affects a lot of people. There are students at CAMS who suffer from mental health issues, whether it's PTSD, depression, anxiety. You all know somebody directly or indirectly who suffers from a mental health il illness. So when I say that we're in this together, we truly are in this together, okay? So, Falcons, if you have not been on the CAMS Counseling website, shame on you. It is, <laughs> we created this website after the pandemic to provide information, resources, um, question, question and answers for, for all our students, our parents, and our community as a whole. So if you haven't been there, get there. This week, since it's Mental Health Awareness Week, we have a spot on our homepage that is dedicated to Mental Health Awareness Week. We have stats, but most importantly, we have some links that um, that are broken down into strategies um, to help students who may be suffering. That's on our um, page, CAMS Counseling Connection. Go there. Take care of yourself. Take care of others. Yeah, I, I, mental health is definitely month awareness month is making sure people aware like did you guys know that one in five students actually have some kind of mental health issue like that's something that a lot of people don't even realize that there are so many people who are struggling with mental health and it is kind of a normal it's a normal function like there, there's some things that we have just like you know how many guys have gone to a regular doctor right how many guys have seen a doctor right <laughs> who's been to the dentist we go to the dentist right so we have these different doctors for our body we have a dentist uh, doctor for our our teeth we have a doctor even for like foot like all these different specialists and so yeah there's talking doctors to be able to talk about the brain because our brain what you tell your brain it believes it so it is making sure we have mental health awareness that you can start teaching your brain having someone to talk to that what you're going through what you're feeling they're valid and it's just walking through it and teaching you the resources to use
to kind of get past what you're going through. I love that Wednesday the 13th, we're having a mental health summit uh, hosted by Oregon uh, Student Leadership Program, but it's for any student and any adult to attend. And I'm so excited I could be the keynote speaker. Uh, we're having 10 students get to share what they're doing to help with mental health uh, for the month. And we have then doctors, where you get to ask questions to the doctors about what's going on. So right now, if you sign up, you can register to come in and it's for anybody. So that's what we're doing for the mental health. But I just think it's so important for everyone to be on the same page and continuing the conversation about mental health. So now that we've heard from Kim Carr from I Can Help and Mr. Kasten, let's hear what ASB has been doing to stay connected with their friends and family. Some things I've some things I've been doing is calling my friends and family to make sure they're feeling loved and I've also played games with them like charades and Pictionary via Zoom. I've been using Instagram's FaceTime feature to FaceTime all my friends and sending letters to my family that lives farther away. I've been um, FaceTiming with all of my friends and family about doing the, about all of this whole craziness and we've also been um, playing board games as a family. I've been taking online dance classes with my studio so I can still see people and practice my technique and even though we're not in the studio it's still really fun. I wrote a whole bunch of handwritten letters to friends and family and I also have been doing um, swim team zooms and I've been facetiming my friends. I've been playing some video games connecting with friends through their facetiming I'm just trying to hang out with the family. I've been texting and facing my friends to make sure they're all doing okay during this time and texting on my family too. Thank you, Kim Carr from Hashtag I Can Help and Mr. Kasten for being here with us today. Don't forget, Cams, it's Mental Health Awareness Month, so be kind to yourself and make sure to check in with others. Bye.